Hi, this is Gina Hughes from TechieDiva.com. I'm here with Laura Cheney at the HP Studios, and today we're going to talk about the HP Media Smart software. So, Laura, show us how it works. Okay, great. So, what we're going to do is, in order to get into the HP Media Smart software, we have to click on the icon right here. Okay. And we're going to look at the photo application today. So, you've got a lot of photos, right? So, one of the things you want to be able to do with those is organize them in a way that you can actually find, sort through them. We've got tons of them. We're taking pictures with our cell phones and our digital cameras, right, all over the place. Everything has a camera these days. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, totally. so, uh, so, one of the things you can do is you can actually go ahead and organize it by the dates. So, this okay. will show you you uh, the last few days, the last 30 days. You can look at it in the last month or even by year. So that's a great way to look at your folders. You can also do it just by name, you know, however you've named your folder, you can look at it that way. Uh, ratings, there is a way that you can go in here and rate your pictures, your favorite ones five stars, your worst ones one star. You can look at them that way. Uh, all photos, so this is all of them, every photo that you've got on here. Slideshows, uh, this is the slideshows that you've created and we're going to go through that in a minute and show you how to do that. And removable disks. So if you've got a flash drive or a uh, media card and you want to look at your photos on there, you can just click on that and you'll be able to uh, look at your photos through that. Now, if you wanted to actually download it onto your hard drive, you'd have to go back and go through Windows to do that, to actually go onto your hard drive. So if you want to search by name, you can name folders. Uh, you could say Beach and you, all your photos that you named as Beach will come up. Or you can look it up by the names of the folders you had in there already. Another thing you could do, you can see this isn't lit up right here, but print the photos. So if you've got this hooked up to a printer, then you can print the photos, right? Always nice. Upload photos. So you can upload your photos to Snapfish, which is basically a site for a public site that you can go ahead and uh, upload all your photos to and share it with other people. Very cool. This is the fan view. Nice. Uh, and this is a, just a really kind of fun, fast, easy way to look at all your photos. So we have all the photos up here that I've got. If I click on play slideshow, this will actually just play all of the all of these pictures as a slideshow oh, going okay. through. So you don't have to create a slideshow, it just plays all the Exactly, nice. exactly. So it's very easy. Any folder that you've got, you can go ahead and do it that way. Or, like I said, we can create one as well. Let's create one. Click on create a slideshow. And it's very easy. You can either drag your pictures over, or you can see these little green buttons here. All you do is you click on the little green button and it will show up over here. How That's easy is that? That's very nice, because it's right there. It's exactly. Big, you can't miss it. With these tabs here, you can change the order of them. So if you want to just drag it down, it'll switch the order. Or if you picked a picture that you didn't really like and you want to get rid of it, you can just drag it into the trash here, which won't actually delete your picture. It just takes it out of the slideshow. Slideshow, nice. Right? Okay. So one of the things you have to do in order to be able to play the slideshow is you actually have to save it and put a name on it. So we put in our name, so that's important. Okay. You save it, there's it's our right slideshow there. right there. So okay. here's the cool part. Okay, so now that we've created our slideshow, the, I'm gonna show you, there's a few different ways that you can actually experience it, but I'm gonna show you my favorite one, which is the cube. So you go ahead and click on cube, press save, and then you go down to play slideshow, and there you go. Very nice. Nice. Pretty cool. Okay. Well, great. Thanks, Laura. That was a great demo. Now, if you guys want more information about the HP Media Smart software, check out hp.com. I'm Gina Hughes. And I'm Laura Cheney. Thanks for watching.